This video is intended to demonstrate the proper installation of the coupler between the spindle motor and vacuum chuck assembly. What we have here is the coupler. It comes apart in three parts. The two mounting parts and the bushing. What you're going to need for this is a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench and a 332 Allen wrench. What we're going to do to start off with is take our spindle motor and we're going to place the coupler onto the spindle motor with one side facing the flat portion of the motor shaft. Once placed, we're going to take our 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench and tighten it down on the flat spot on the motor, slightly wiggling back and forth to make sure we're seating flush. We'll then tighten down the other screw 90 degrees away from it and we'll come back and tighten it up. Next what we're going to do is separate the lower portion of the coupler and place it inside of the vacuum chuck assembly making sure it is fully seated on the inside of the vacuum chuck shaft. You should be able to see the set screw inside of the access hole in the side of the chuck shaft. We're going to take our 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench, find our set screw, while giving pressure on the part down into the chuck shaft making sure it stays flush. Tighten it down. We're then going to rotate it 90 degrees so that we can see the second screw and we'll tighten that down. Next what we're going to do is make sure that the screws on the motor portion of the coupler will match the screws on the vacuum chuck portion of the coupler. Right now I have the first screw on top and the second screw away from me. Then you'll combine the two pieces. The vacuum chuck should be flush with the motor mount plate. You're going to make sure that your screw hole for the elbow goes in the same direction as the power wire for the motor. Keeping the chuck shaft and the motor flush together, you'll take your 332nd Allen wrench and tighten down the mounting screws and the vo uh, vacuum chuck shaft. Installing your coupler this way will help prevent unwanted breakage due to the motor spinning and not spinning the chuck shaft. You should be able to feel a slight bumping while turning the chuck shaft by hand. That tells you that the motor is spinning. If there are any questions or concerns about this procedure, please feel free to call us at 800-365. 9993 or email us at technical support at ultraoptics.com.